Hey everyone, it's Dirk from Robot Mowers Australia. So we're just doing a little trial today, or for the next week or so, of the FJ Dynamics RM21 on a large commercial facility here in southwestern Sydney. It's a new cemetery that's being built and they've got a lot of grass areas um, that are basically reclaimed paddocks, they're not fine lawns um, at all. But there's a lot of grass here that they're going to have to be mowing for the next few years. So they're looking at their options in terms of autonomous mowing and how they can save on manpower, uh, which is hard to get, and obviously on their equipment costs. So we've set this mower up on its charging station in their maintenance compound. Got a couple of safety cones there, just letting people know to stay clear. We need about three meters by three meters clear space around the mower for it to maneuver in and out of the charging station. So that's what we've got here. What I'm going to do now is I've got the phone app up. I've selected an area that we're going to mow. I'm going to press start. And the mower will bring itself out of its charging base and it's got a bit of a distance to track to get to the first of the areas. So we'll have a look as it does that. Now for the time being, there's a lot of construction going on on this facility. So we're going to be only mowing in the evening, starting at 6 p.m., which is once all contractors and workers have left site then the mower will come out and track out to the areas, do its job overnight, come back in once it's done and sit here until 6 p.m. the next day. So it's going to position itself and travel up this concrete pathway here. Okay, so now the mower is arriving at its first work area. You'll see it has done a couple of laps around the perimeter before. Uh, this morning after setting up the maps, I did run it around the boundary a couple of times just to uh, verify that it was going to go around okay and then head back to the charger. So for this trial, like I said, these are basically glorified paddocks. There's been uh, construction machinery running over them. There has been a little bit of levelling going on, um, but there is a bit of debris buried in the grass. Any of the major debris, we've uh, created uh, no-go zones around them, so the mow will stay out of those. But for the mowing, to start with, we're starting off at 100 millimetres, 4 inches, and the highest blade cutting speed and then once it's done a full cut we'll bring that cutting height down a bit and then over subsequent cuts cuts bring the height down further and then we can also reduce the blade speed as it will only be doing a little bit of trimming on top now the big advantage of the RM21 over the smaller robots that, which have razor blade style blades is this one has a solid steel bar blade similar to a ride-on mower 
and it can cut much thicker grass due to the power of the motors than what a small robot can. As you can see here, this grass is a wide mix of different tussocky sort of grass. We've got a lot of paspalum here, a few probably native grasses, and a base layer of a mix of kaikuyu and cooch. Now there's a bit of a rough area here. This is one of the areas I've set up as an obstacle because there's quite a dip in the middle there. So we'll keep the mower out of there. There's also an old construction driveway here which has got quite a rut in it compared to the surrounding levels. So I've excluded that. But you can see there's a couple of laps that's done along the border here as well as on the other side we've mapped pretty much all of that grass field over there. So that'll be area two. This is area one. The property manager tells me they are going to be doing a bit of work on these lawns to get them improved. Obviously cleaning up all this rubbish, like with some blocks of concrete here, which again, we've created a no-go zone, so the mower will stay out of there. This old construction driveway is going to be rehabilitated and overseeded Because up the top there on the left, we've got the administration building getting built, and the main building there in the centre is the chapel. It's going to have some beautiful views down over these lawn areas. Leading down to the lake down here, which has a cafe beside it. And there's also a function centre down by another lake. So they definitely want to have all this area looking nice and neat and tidy for when the facility opens next year. And I believe the RM21 is going to be a great option for them to do this without having to spend a lot of manpower and labour on getting a great result. So this mower is going to do two laps around the perimeter of this area and from then it will start its uh, general mowing pattern. We've set it up on a random pattern so every time it starts a new mow in this area it's going to start mowing in a different direction. That way we're not getting wear and tear, wheel ruts and lines always in the same direction but we're getting a nice even cut across the lawn because it's being cut in different directions. As you can see there, definitely not a smoothest, the smoothest lawn. It is bouncing around a bit, but it's handling it quite okay.
So the mower is about two thirds done of this first area. It's just working up there near uh, one of the no-go areas, doing a few laps in the corner up there. Then it still has a little bit to do up there before it goes around the corner and completes off down over the other side of the hill there. Now this was obviously pretty long. Uh, I have brought the cutting height down to 80 millimeters just to try and reduce the amount of grass that was getting laid over under the deck and not getting cut. We do still have a bit of paspalum stalks that you might be able to see there that have um, not been fully cut. Where it's mostly kaikuyu grass is not too bad. If we have a look over here where there was a thicker patch of paspalum. This isn't all that unusual for an area that's this long. Even with a normal zero turn mower, you're always going to end up with some uncut grass, especially this paspalum, which is really tough. By the time this has had a second cut with the mower mowing in a different direction, that should have taken out 99% of all this, so it'll look a lot better in a day or two. Overall though, it's going very well. Haven't had any issues despite the uneven ground. Bit of dust and dirt over there as you can see. But definitely starting to look a lot better. Okay, so it's Saturday afternoon, back out here at MacArthur Memorial Park, checking out how the mower has gone. <clears throat> it's now done two nighttime cycles on each of the two areas. This one we're on at the moment being area two, the larger one, close to 9,000 square meters. Now, as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. 
We've got some nice striping happening. Pretty much all the weeds bar a couple of little woody ones are gone. And it's all a nice uniform height. So last night's cut was at about 85 millimeters. <clears throat> What I've done now in the schedule is change that down to 75 millimeters for the next cut, which will be tomorrow during the day. And this will start looking more and more like a nice lawn. Definitely impressed with how this RM21 is going on this area. This is not a manicured lawn at all. Like I said, it's basically a glorified, glorified paddock. You can see here we've got an old tree stump. Should still be below the 75 mil cut height, so that'll be okay. But as you can see, it's all looking pretty good.